trigger warning. Topics in this video may be unpleasant or frightening to certain audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. My name is Kat. If you haven't been here um, before, I'm new to YouTube. I started making videos. I think this is my fourth video. Um, I am just here to have a good time and, uh, you know, talk about my life and, you know, things. So, uh, today I was going to talk about... So I'm coming at you with uh, some topics. Uh, this first one is going to be about dreams. Now, if you know me personally, I have vivid, vivid dreams. Um, I've been told this is because of my narcolepsy type 1 disorder. Um, so I have narcolepsy with cataplexy, and that means um, I tend to go into um, a dream state quite a bit. I have uh, the sleep paralysis with it. I have uh, cataplexy, which is brought on by strong emotions. Um, so mine are triggered usually by frustration or um, laughing. Um, but I am here to talk to you about some of the dreams I've had, um, you know, over the years. Uh, there's been some scary dreams, there's been some okay dreams, um, but first uh, let me just tell you about my narcolepsy and how I uh, became diagnosed. So um, I was, that would be 24, so this was last year, I went in for a sleep test and a MSLT um, and it just, um, the sleep test was originally because they believed I had sleep apnea. When I was sleeping, I had done a little test um, where they counted how many times I stopped breathing or hold my breath at night. Um, and they were like, oh, this is, this is kind of freaky. Um, we're going to send her to get an actual sleep test. So they did that. And then um, I wound up doing that. It was all hooked up. I'll insert a picture probably over here of what I looked like because I was, I was looking like some hot stuff. That's for sure. Um, and I had all these wires attached to my head. I had little things up my nose. I had to answer questions. Um, anyway, I wasn't allowed to go to sleep until a certain time at night. Um, I had to wake up at a certain time in the morning. Um, I, I was on a very strict schedule. Um, and they had to see how many times I went into REM sleep or rapid eye movement um, overnight, which tends to be, I believe, the third part of your sleep cycle. Um, but anyway, um, I was having trouble before for many years where I was just falling asleep, um, random places, and I would wake up and I wouldn't know where I was at. Um, it would be really just weird and uncomfortable. And then um, about a few months before actually having the test, I started to have a lot of random paralysis, um, which I had never heard of cataplexy before. And they'd be really short, sometimes be a few seconds to maybe a, a minute or two. Um, and it'd be super uncomfortable. And um, I just, it'd be the small things. I would try to, um, you know, move my hand or something and I would not be able to to move it and it was really creepy to me because I was like oh my gosh what happened <laughs> something is wrong <laughs> it was one of those things where I literally um had noticed I had trouble with sleeping and it wasn't just like um sleeping at night because I'm one of those people that is a very like soft sleeper um but when I was younger I had noticed I had always been falling asleep in class. Um, I didn't do well in high school because of that. Um, and I wound up um, falling asleep every day after school. Well, we just kind of like attributed that to growing up. And I was like, okay, you know, like I'm just, you know, I'm sleepy. I'm a sleepy girl, you know, just what I do. Um, so that was not the case now in the future that we see. Um, but I also... Uh, did a lot of 
I, I just needed a lot of sleep. And in the beginning, they thought that I had hypersomnia. So hypersomnia is basically just extremely sleepy. And so a lot of people um, will be able to be really, really tired and fall asleep but not go into that REM um, state. Some, some myths, I can, I can still drive. Tons of medications that you can take for uh, narcolepsy to help keep you awake and stimulate your brain to keep you awake. Um, most of them though need to be paired with something else um, and a lot of the times um, it kind of makes it difficult to you know function if you don't have those. Um, so I begin to notice if I forget to take my medicine maybe like an hour or so after I wake up um, because I will start to feel really heavy eyed um, and kind of a little like in a daze. So one of the most um, extreme dreams, I guess you would say, that I had, um, that I still remember to this day, and I remember a lot of my dreams. When in middle school was actually, it, it's kind of a scary dream. It has to deal with um, the group that I was a part of. Uh, we would watch school. scary movies. So we started with Hellraiser, which if you don't know what Hellraiser is, uh, it is a scary movie. I don't know how to explain it other than it's terrifying. Um, I'm a big old chicken, so that would make sense. Um, but the main character is uh, one of the guys, his name is Pinhead. He has nails all throughout his head. Um, and so that comes into the comes into my dream. Um, and then um, also uh, we decided to watch all of the Freddy movies. So all of them including I think it's like one through seven or one through six plus the um West Cavern remake so I was like feeling pretty good at the end of the night we went to sleep and I had a dream that we went to the mall that our whole group had gone to the mall the funny thing is there was no escalators there was no stairs it was all water slides and if you wanted to get back up to the water slide you had to go on a reverse water slide um so well when it got to the point where i was at the top i was waiting in line and i remember it was an orange slide um like one of the enclosed ones and um all of a sudden like loud noises start happening in my dreams and all of a sudden I start hearing gunshots and um this was before I had even like really knew what a shooting was uh, we were in we were in the mall in my dream all of a sudden I started hearing shooting and then my friend uh at the time let's call her Elizabeth or something Elizabeth turned around she had all the nails in her face like pinhead um and she had a gun and all of a sudden my brain went nope can't do it nope uh so i there was a ton of colors in the dream there was a ton of um like uh, noises there was a ton of um i could see people's faces uh and that was one of the times that i had a very vivid dream it's always stuck with me it's always scared me um like they said i'm a big chicken so uh, once in a while I will slip back into that dream again. Um, I remember when I woke up from that dream, I wrote it down and then I laid back down to go to sleep and, uh, it just, it started back over again, not like started, but like it went back to where it was at and continued. And I woke up again, like maybe after a few minutes, or at least that's what it felt like to me. And I went and I was just like, I can't, I can't. Nope. We're done. Mm, nope sick of it we're done can't do it anymore so i just i didn't um but yeah i that'll always be that reminded in my head i don't i don't know why i don't know um i don't know i'll never get it out it's terrifying <laughs> so much fun not really um it was one of those first ones that I was kind of afraid to continue to go back to sleep. Um, and so uh, now whenever I see something that's kind of scary, kind of like that, I will have trouble going to sleep. 
so second dream uh the second one uh was pretty recent uh that i had um and it had to deal with um like a birthday party and there was like this whole other world like instead of living in houses we lived in these round um like round stone things like caves and they were covered in green moss and then there was a huge like valley kind of thing and then there was this there was like steps going down um and there was grass everywhere and there was a huge river going up um and for some reason it was a birthday that day for the people that lived in in the cave with me and I had to go out and get strawberry cheesecake ice cream yeah, so I had to go get this um, strawberry uh, shortcake ice cream. And to do that, if we were all at the bottom of this valley. To do that, I had to climb up the valley. And then I had to um, go on like this cobblestone road uh, all the way into town to go get this. It was weird because there was people from my school, from my high school that I graduated with, there. And I remember two of them. There was this girl from my school. I'm going to call her Lillian. I don't know. She had, when we were in school together, she had braces, if I remember correctly. A lot of freckles and short red hair. Kind of like where I have it, but like short copper, coppery red hair. And she, um, she had always been really sweet to me. I would always really liked her. Um, anyway, Lillian... Uh, had to go with me and then the other one uh, was this guy that I went to school with he was a shorter male popular he had black hair um, freckles and he was just always really funny uh, let's call him Bob I don't know anyway Bob was fishing by the river thing and me and Lillian had to go we were tasked with going to get the ice cream so we had to crawl up the side of that valley and part of it was we had to jump over that river so um like we jumped over the river and she got across fine but I got stuck I jumped and I don't I'm not very good at things like that so I jumped and my leg got wet and I remember waking up and I said to my husband I said my leg is wet and he was like what what are you talking about and I'm just like dude my leg is wet so like I threw off the blankets grabbed my leg and my leg was super dry and my ring was just like okay I just my leg got lost in a river there why isn't it wet I was very confused. But anyway, me and Lillian had to go up. Um, we got through and went up to the cobblestone. We got the ice cream. And then instead of just bringing it down to, um, bringing it back down to the valley, we had taken and loaded it in a, like a cannon thing and shot it down to the cave. Just... <whistles> kind of thing. Um... Maybe not the explosion sound, but, uh, you know, it went there. Uh, and then we made our way back down, which was loading us back in the cannon and shooting us back down as well. So, pew, pew. you know, uh, so it was really weird. And then I woke up and, um, you know, again, yeah. And the third story, um, basically this one was super recent um this is the last one anyway this third one uh basically it was like modern day and i was a princess i'm a queen now um and all the princesses in my group they were you know we all were we were in like this princess school we had to We had to do an assignment and the assignment was like 20 pages of how to run your country and I'm like dude I can barely run my life so this is gonna be pretty difficult um 
but alas, I was like, cool, let's do that. So it gets to the point where we turn it all in. The teacher's like really snobby and everything. She's like, this is incorrect. And ripped my paper in front of me. And I was like, a oh, bitch, please. Um, I worked very hard on that. And it all had to be handwritten. So I couldn't type it or anything like that. So I couldn't just print on a new one. So then she goes, I'm going to teach you how to be a good princess and how to correctly do this kind of thing. So what she did was she opened like this portal and the portal is like, I think like a circle and a blue light, like for the portal. Um, anyway, I went in and it was way back in the day, like the 1500s or something like that. I'm like, oh, you know cool cute dresses you know sounds good to me uh so then I did that and I went in and now all of a sudden I had a like necklace kind of thing and it was it was more like a banner uh, this banner everyone had one for their kingdom and their kingdom's colors and it was like a string with a wooden dowel and then it had like your kingdom colors in plaid like a like a banner kind of thing that went around your neck and basically you didn't have a crown but the banner was to say you're royal cool so my colors were red and black um so i had a red and black plaid kind of design um other people had like green and blue or purple and yellow stuff like that um and so then all of a sudden there was another loud noise, um, and basically, um, someone ran into the room where the rest of us were and said, they're killing all the princesses. Uh, they're killing everybody. Um, unless you have the queen symbol on your neck somewhere, you are going to die. And so he's like, but I'm here to get you out. So we're like, oh knight in shining armor this is so great um anyway no he got eaten anyway there was like rhinoceroses i guess you'd say they were rhinoceroses with a like a naked role mat mole rat face and they were riding on they were riding they were kind of like riding them around and they you know um they would just gather people up and take them to like a holding cell uh, so I started running for my life, um, and I got caught, unfortunately. Um, I remember because I, I felt it. I remember getting caught because I could feel. Anyway, they had thrown me into the cell, and then they had taken and, um, like, left the window open a little bit for me. They're like, oh, she won't be able to climb out. And they were checking all of the princesses to see if they had the queen's symbol, which um, was just like a little cue on like the little bit of their neck here, um, which was very odd for me. And I saw my teacher. My teacher had gone back in time with me um, and she didn't have any symbols. She didn't have a banner, nothing. And they fed her to the naked mole rat rhinoceros kind of thing and that was ugh. but anyway um they had brought mine out they had brought me out to inspect and my brain's like this is it I'm gonna die but then uh like one of the girls had winked at me and she looked like my teacher and so this girl she had winked at me and she and all of a sudden like a portal had opened right behind me and I ran through and then she ran through and I was like what the heck is going on and it turns out that chick was my teacher how did she live so long I have no clue but she can time travel so I'm just not gonna deal with I'm, I'm not gonna ask any questions we get back to normal time and she's like 
so what were we doing? And I'm like, well, you're, you're my teacher. You were teaching us how to be princesses. We had to do like a 20 page paper. Um, the present day you ripped my paper up and she was like, oh, well, is it that bad? And I'm like, that's why she sent me to the past. Um, and I still had my banner on and everything. And she go, and she had her banner on. Um, and basically she had me rap about the past. And let me tell you, I can't rap. I don't, I don't know why in my dream I decided to rap. Um, I'm gonna say thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening to me uh, and dealing with my terrible editing. Uh, I'm still learning. I've done a lot of research, but I don't understand everything. So um, thank you for that. Um, and yeah, I mean, just thanks guys. Comment below. Uh, tell me if you have narcolepsy and what your experience is. Um, if you don't have narcolepsy and you have a different sleep disorder or even sleep paralysis, anything like that, um, you know, tell me about it. I'd love to hear your stories. Um, I just want to say thank you. Like I said, um, thank you for following. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for, um, you know, liking my stuff, commenting, um, and just, you know, in general, I don't know, being the cool cats you are. Um, so if you want to see more videos, um, please like and subscribe and, um, you know, write me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. Um, and you know, have a good night. Bye.